Daniela Batalla, I was born in Colombia, uh, but uh, currently I'm living in St. Kitts, and so I have been doing different art projects the last three years. My focus is on the acrylic and oil painting on canvas, but right now I am experimenting paper mache technique, and so I created and still creating a giant puppets out of paper mache. not just with the purpose of innovate the art scene in St. Kitts, but as well with the purpose of contributing and generating spaces for youth to develop their creativity. Kilele Giants started when I started to research about St. Kitts Carnival um, and I thought to myself how I could contribute to it you know, innovate and give something like new. So I already made paper mache before. I made some masks just for hobby and it was like a spirit. So I made like a monster, like a shy one, like a happy one. Like, and I have those masks somewhere. I don't remember, like maybe in Bogota home somewhere those masks. And it was just for fun. But then later I joined a um, collective from Chile. They was doing a theatrical performance in the National Theater in Bogota. And they made like a big house, a realistic normal house, out from paper mache. And I helped them and I learned. And oh my god, I fell in love with it. Like you can do many stuff. You can do like a cups, plates, houses, in build like houses to live <laughs> if you want. With like the proper technique and there is different ways. It's very like versatile. I also was around this guy that used to do the small puppets, Emilian from Chile as well. And he used to do small puppets out from cardboard, from eggs, from the eggs like box and whatever, and beautiful, beautiful. So it's like I was around these like creative people, and I got inspired like long time, and just now I got the feeling of hey, at the time I'm in the right place to do it, why not? I started very early in April of 2019 to work in the first puppet in the big head. I started on my own um, without any concrete plan and then in the way uh, I, started, I started looking for more people to join me and then Lyndon joined me, the architect, the welder uh, and some other like students. that comes from Chocó, from the west side of Colombia. Uh, this place is very well known for its large population of Afro people, same as Senkis. And the word Kilele means dancing and having fun and enjoying, kind of like among uh, people, it's like party spirit. And I realized that Kilele is something that I see every day in Senkis. Everybody, everybody here has something of Kilele, uh, especially during the carnival.
histories in between with the bowl. They have the bowl, they have the mokojumbi, they have the masquerade, they have the parades. The parades are these girls with fed ups that like they go in troops and it's many different of them, they do competitions as well. It's pretty similar to Brazil Carnival a little bit in that part. And that's actually something that came so much later because the carnival, the original original, was just with the clowns which is not the, the clown with the red nose, but it's like more like an African clown with beautiful dresses and it's just like, oh, it's like beautiful. I just, I just love it. I just love it and I fell in love with it. So I was looking a way to fit in it, join it, be part and share something nice. So I wanted to find a world that has a lot to do with Colombia, which is where I come from. Uh, a lot with Afro people, which definitely has to do, and something that was connected with St. Kitts, and it definitely does. December in St. Kitts is, is not about the tree, it's about the gifts. Yes, people give gifts. Some people put trees, but not many. Uh, before, they used to have lighting, but not anymore. But some houses do a little bit. In Colombia, we do it a lot, a lot. We overdo it. But here, December is more about their culture. So it's the place where they go and they feel like hot and protected. That's like a refuge. This is paper mache, which is a technique um, that starts from the common newspaper. After you do a, like a molding with a globe or with wire chicken or boxes, chicken, chicken wire, <laughs> with chicken wire or boxes or anything that you can give like the shape that you want. When you have the mold, you start sticking over it the strips of this paper with common glue or some people do it with flour. It will be hard, it will get hard depending on how many hands you put of paper. This one has about 12 hands or even 20 hands. I put over and over and over. I overdid it. So it's hard and it's actually pretty heavy as well. Mm. After that, I sand it. You try just to sand it to make like to make it look like more like smooth. And, um, then you paint it with kind of like a you paint it with a gesso first, like kind of like a base, like a white base. I wanted as well the heads to be very exaggerated in proportion, and the hands as well to be bigger than what they would be in a normal human body. I like to to highlight uh, the um, the characteristics of an Afro person, of a black person. So I made intentionally like huge lips and big nose bigger than what it's than what normally it is because it's something that i think makes us beautiful uh, so why why to try to dissimulate it you know and not highlight it instead and like be proud of it i put about two hands of of the base of the gesso to make sure there is no holes and everything and then sanding in between and then over it you paint it with common painting well, some people paint it with exterior painting so that you can just pull it out the weather and everything and it's not, getting, it's not going to get damaged. And then after that, just put a clear cord so that it's shiny. Thank you. 
actually made them with boxes. I use common boxes to build them. It was easier and as well they are so much lighter. And then I give the, the, the mold in the shape that I wanted with newspaper and masking tape. And then over it, I put some transparent tape so that when I work with the, with the paper machine, I can, when it, once it's dry, I can just detach it and then keep using the same mold to do different faces and it's as well it's going to be lighter. mechanism so that it can jump so when it's connected to the spire it will bounce in this way so when the person is just like jamming there in the carnival when the person is carrying the puppet and jamming the carnival the puppet will jump along and it will be like the puppet is dancing and enjoying itself as well the small heads i didn't know how to attach the small heads to the spine so i asked for help there is a team of puppets, of people that work with puppets in France. The Les Grandes Personas, Las Grandes Personas. And I asked help to the director. And he gave me advices that I followed and that made made easier for me to, to do this process. After that, we built the hands. The hands are just made from bottles. The hands, the hands were very fun to do because I love hands, in fact. So it was a very fun activity. Um, the hands are made out from bottles, same as the arms, just plastic bottles. So most of this material is material that was found in the garbage, a recyclable material. Mm, and then the same process, wrap it with, uh, newspaper, uh, with toilet paper and then newspaper and then painting again and spraying. plastic bottles as I said and for the huge puppet we used galvanized two box tubing mm, and we made a float with two wheels in the back that would be attached to a vehicle to be pulled. So I went to youth department to introduce myself, to communicate my desire to be part of the carnival, and they supported my project. Ah, I'll be failing my, I'll be failing my, in my team. Right. Right. I think if, if I get it out, film everything. I'm gonna get it because she just failed. So I think. No man, you see, as she's swimming, she done Focus. polluted everything near. <laughs> so after I had about three puppets, I went to. Department and communicate.
change my desire to be part of the carnival. I don't want it just to show up with my six puppets and just like, you know, so I went and communicated the idea and the project I had in mind and the project that I've been creating and they loved the project. They loved the idea of something new being performed, something new being part of the carnival. And so they gave me a hand. The department supported the project and they allowed me to be part of the carnival and join the troops. Killer Giants performed for the first time in 2019, 2020. The carnival is part of December and January. The first, the second and the third. I'm expecting to be part of the next uh, carnivals. We are better in the puppets, we are working because now Kilele Giants has become a team. I want to enjoy yourself in the costume. If it's a man for your costume, I want to enjoy yourself now. A bike, a motor bicycle. This is the funny thing. The funny thing of that. We got a motor bicycle, a four wheels bicycle, and then when a four wheels motorbike, if you could say, quattro, we would say in Spanish, quattro moto. And then uh, we was ready. We tested it every day. It was working, looking super cool and super like kind of like rock, rock style and stuff. And the, the day that we was ready to. To the first day of the carnival, we were ready with everything and the bike stopped working. One of the biggest challenges was to get like a group of people committed to work, to work like every day for this. And that was one of them as well because it was the first time. So there is many things I didn't um, had in count that I definitely a second time I already know what to do, what not to do. Uh, I was excited, we was excited, but at the same time, we was very nervous. The puppet was huge, about four meters tall, the biggest puppet. And so the, we, didn't, we didn't realize that there was many like cables all around town. So we, 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 when, when this guy was driving the vehicle, with the puppet attached to the back, the puppet got tangled between the cables. And imagine that it's a crowd of people. So we were so nervous and afraid that this puppet is going to fall in the crowd of the people. So after 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 that day, we went we went back to the studio and made some adjustments. And the welder made made it reinforce it. The reaction of people in the street, uh, some they were shocked, some were surprised. Everybody was surprised, it was never done before in Fenkis. So, yes, and people wasn't expecting it. It was just like, we just made it like as a, as a gift, as a surprise. Uh, many kids, the kids especially, uh, many kids would run behind their mother and hide and like, no, I remember there was a kid and the mother would try to pull him like, What's going on with you? Like, what's wrong? <laughs> he ain't gonna do nothing. And the kids screaming and trying to hide behind the mother. And some kids would just stop it and what the photos we did. Everybody was just excited and like making many questions. So it's something that I realized is something that was needed in some kids and people want to see it more. So I stayed with the feeling of yes, we're gonna keep it up. We need to keep doing these things. We made we made different mistakes. Um, we did it. We wasn't able to 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 carry the small puppets for the last days, for the next two days. Um, but at the end, uh, these are mistakes that um, 
after you do them, as more mistakes you do, as better you will get because now you, next time when you're doing it, when you're trying it, you already pass the mistakes and then you are not committing, at least not the same mistakes, I guess. Everybody.